so yeah this video is about distance so today one of our subscribers asked me <coughs> when do you decide uh, whether you need to replace a piston or you know change the ring so this is me telling you how to do that so uh, this is an rx135 piston this is a shogun piston just look at the size difference okay so first thing to identify ring failure is to look at these black uh, marks uh, these are carbon deposits which happen below the ring so that would mean that the, there is a ring failure okay so that is your first cue to uh, change the ring if there is no other issue if you know the only thing is the bike starts little difficult but then it runs okay um, you know it doesn't sound you know feel as if there is no power then you change the rings uh, then the second thing is you need to look at the carbon deposit underneath so if it is too black here that means this piston is running very hot uh, and then look at seize marks so these are minor seize marks this is nothing major but what made me change this piston was this uh, little crack let me see if it picks up here yeah. so because of which instead of changing the rings I changed the whole piston uh, this is at the intake side uh, so looks like it might have gone ahead and hit the crank rod the connecting rod or maybe there was some foreign body in which it hit uh, so that's about this piston you know there is no other scoring so the piston is fine uh, overall only thing we could notice was this blow by uh, because of which I decided to change the rings first and then when I noticed this I decided to change the piston as well so that is about the RX135 Tiger that has been built recently so this is the Shogun piston if you notice this also has a lot of blow by uh, there is actually this is the it's caught both near the exhaust as well as intake so uh, that usually means that the ports are you know filled with carbon uh, that is when the heat dissipation doesn't happen well and that is when this kind of scoring happens but again this is nothing major it is just minor scoring so looks like you know uh, the piston got hot and it became little sticky but then nothing major it was not run in properly could be that uh, so if you can see there is a compression ring installed here already okay um, now let me tell you a little bit about the ring okay so the rings basically um, doesn't function like most of the people think it would so there is the spring action and people think that because of the spring action it you know fits snug inside the cylinder and that's how you know they hold compression but that's not how it holds compression so what happens is when the explosion happens the hot gases push the piston down so when it's pushing it down it actually moves into the channel behind the ring and it expands the ring that's how the ring sits perfectly on the uh, sides of the cylinder and it is pushed down so this needs to move freely if it doesn't move freely then it will seize uh, if you see this the rings are also moving pretty free okay so um, if, if something is written then it has to be on top so that you can see it from the top uh, the plain part should be on the bottom and if you look at the ring from the bottom it's really clean and the top is little 
has little carbon that clearly you know shows that there is absolutely zero blow by from this ring it is doing its job pretty well and you know blow by happening at some spots like you know here where the lock notches so you know that is okay but still in other parts it is not uh, so that that's how you decide basically should you change the ring or should you change the piston so first you look at your piston if you feel there is a compression loss or if you are doing an engine rebuild obviously you will get the piston out so you check out if there is a lot of blow by if there is a lot of blow by and if there is a lot of carbon accumulation below the rings that would mean that the uh, rings have failed and then if you look at scoring or if there is a physical damage you change the piston like if it is scored uh, say for example this scoring you can't really catch it on your nail then it's okay like you know if it catches a little bit also it's fine but this one catches really well if you see or let me use the ring to show you that see it catches really well it doesn't just slide over that and there is a good ridge so that would mean that you know you should definitely change the piston so you also look at the cylinder if while you know you are uh, you know you have put the new rings and still if there is blow by then that would simply mean that you know the cylinder is either not bored well or maybe the piston the size of the piston is one bit small if that is the case then you measure the cylinder and then rebore it to the next size if it is you know the piston and the cylinder match so that would mean that you know the piston is little small for what is the present condition of the cylinder but then if uh, you know it it is let's say running well after you change the rings there is no blow by uh, then I, I would say the ring change job should take care of it uh, so that's about it I hope there was some information which you really you know found useful if you did find the information useful please make sure you like share and subscribe the video if the information not was not that too great please comment let me know what i missed so that i can improve uh, if you want to support the channel please share it amongst the friends we are really close to the thousand mark and i would really appreciate if you can help me reach there a little faster so thanks a lot have a great night bye bye